Hi everybody and welcome back to another tutorial with Mr. Petromo. Today we are going to walk through how to turn in quests on Classcraft and get your XP and level up. And uh, so let's get started. I wanted to try to make this short, so we're gonna go kind of quickly. If at any point you need to revisit this video, it'll be in your library and you can just go click on it again and re-watch or zip around to the parts you missed. So on your screen today, we're gonna, um, we're starting out by looking at the map. The first thing you need to know is you can zoom in and out of this map. You can also grab it and move it around with your mouse, just like this. So keep that in mind. Occasionally these upper quests will be hidden under, will be zoomed in and they'll be hidden up there. And sometimes you'll say, how do I get to that one? No, let's just zoom out with your mouse wheel, or I think it's a two finger zoom on your Chromebook, just like that. So that'll zoom you out on the map and then you can drag it around. So we're gonna to start today on the staff meeting and we're gonna open that quest up. And the first thing it's gonna take us to is the introduction. Now, Classcraft is kind of built around story quests and with the staff meeting and PD, I kind of left out a bunch of the story lines. So these are gonna be very brief and very basic. So the introduction says today's staff meeting and I'm gonna click the button start quest. Now that's gonna open up my map and it's gonna give me my first available assignment. You will see in a few minutes that this map is about to fill out as you complete tasks. So I'm going to click on getting started on Classcraft and this is actually what I want everybody to do first. So as soon as we're done watching this video, you're gonna open up getting started on Classcraft. You're gonna hit that continue button and you're gonna read the task. This is the task. After you have watched this video, turn this quest in for credit. So this is one of the simple ones. You're just going to preview this video and I'm not gonna watch it here with you. I'm just gonna show you how it works. Doesn't even like make you go out of the tab. You can watch the video right inside of Classcraft. So when you are done, you're gonna navigate your way to A plus assignment up here on the top, A plus assignment. This is the spot where you turn everything in for credit. You'll see how much it's worth, how many gold pieces you're gonna get and when it's due. So you'll see most of these I've made due at the end of the year. So we have some choice time and time to turn things in. Now, normally I would require you to write something or have a reflection or tell me what you did or insert your screenshot to prove you did this, that, or the other, or a link or a video or your Google Doc. For this one, you're just gonna type in completed. And then you're gonna hit that submit button. And then submit again. Now I can exit out of my quest and my next quest becomes available. What teachers think about during a staff meeting. Again, I'm gonna open that one up and I'm gonna read that one. What teachers think about during a staff meeting. I'm gonna hit continue. And then here's my task. What teachers think about during staff meetings. This is hysterical. So hold on to your seats. Play that video and then continue on. What if we flipped our staff meetings and professional development on their heads? What if we took charge? So this is kind of leading you into a lesson. And when you answer this part, this is going to see, to um, ask you to join the discussion thread. Join the discussion thread and throw out some crazy ideas on what this would look like. What, you would, what would you like to see? You don't have to add if you really don't want to. And that's true for all of these. You don't have to add to the conversation. But I do want you to participate by reading other people's posts. So we do have to have some brave people that do participate and leave some responses. So once you are done, do not hit this button. This is a trap. The task is not complete. This will not get you credit. I know it looks tempting, but it's the wrong button. I'm gonna ask them to take that button out because when what you need is the submit button. That's the one that's gonna give you credit. So you go to A plus assignment, and when you are done, you're gonna hit that submit button. But right now, the task says to add to the discussion thread. And that is this tab right here. So I'm gonna click on the discussion thread. Now the whole class will be able to read your comments and we can talk back and forth. You can use multiple comments. So you're gonna just type in your comments here. And you're gonna hit that send button and you'll be able to see Trevor TikTok is really me. So whenever you see Trevor TikTok, that's my fake student account. 
I also have an edit button if I want to change it or if I want to delete that comment. If I've rethought or changed my mind, I can delete or I can reply to just this comment. So it works a lot like social media um, comments where you can reply to each other. So I want everybody to join that discussion thread. And after you have joined and read some things and contributed and kind of spent a few minutes on it, I want you to go back to A plus assignment and I want you to submit that one for credit. And this should get us started on our first few um, tasks in Classcraft. So our next one will take us on and we'll be able to continue. And Mr. Petromo will tell you what to go to next. So thank you for listening and I hope you have a great day. <music>